Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you people how to write a macro code in a mechanical APDL. And uh, this white bar is where you can paste the macro code. And uh, exclamation marks are comments. So and this is an example of a macro code and you can see that I have used exclamation marks for uh, future reference and uh, stuff. I will put some exclamation marks for reference and I will click on uh, file clear and start new say start new it will start new database say yes then go to list files log file you can see that code if you go to bottom you can see that code has been formed just for the clicks you just did so just copy and uh, paste it in a text file and we don't need that uh, ANSYS release number and stuff so I'm deleting that can paste this code and see that the same window pops up yes just say yes now we'll continue with making a solving a simple bar problem so starting with the element type uh, link add uh, link 180 then going to material properties material model uh, structural and linear elastic isotropic Young's modulus of uh, 200 GP and Poisson ratio 0.3 ok now add sections section ID 1 and I will uh, name it as SQ for square it doesn't matter and area 2 mm square ok Now if you go to file log file and go to bottom you can see the code has been formed after prep 7 just copy and paste it in a same text file this link in it EMP is for material property there is things model there is the square 2 mm square Now making the model create key points in active CS few reference exclamation marks so in active CS first one is at 000, 000 then 500 then 1000 coordinates XYZ coordinates so now create line and join the key points so node 1 comma 2 will be joined by line 1 ok apply then 2 and 3 now open the log file again then just copy the code after reference uh, mark paste it in the same file and I'll just name it as model now you can see that uh, k5 is x then yz format xyz format and line from node 1 to 2 3 so next will be meshing so go into meshing at mesh attributes uh, let it be default only it will be because we have only one element type and uh, going to size control manual size and I'll uh, mesh I'll divide this line into two then mesh uh, lines 
uh, say pick call so that all the line will be meshed. Now go to log file. Uh, from uh, type one, uh, that is meshing attribute. So copy the code. And uh, let it be those uh, F items, and you can see L mesh stands for uh, line mesh. So now you have to put boundary condition go to solution define loads apply structural displacement so i'll be i'll put displacement on node 1 that is one node 1 uh, all degrees of freedom will be constrained i'll just type one okay constrain all degrees of freedom okay Now go to log file. You can see that after finish, till from finish, the code is for um, the displacement boundary condition. Just uh, paste it. I'll just uh, comment as boundary conditions. few more uh, reference marks F apply force on node the last node which is okay put uh, force of I'll put I'll be putting force of 20 Newton in uh, X direction FX okay I'll just zoom out a bit and uh, go to log file copy the code after uh, the reference marks Make sure the code is cleaner and so you can or anyone can understand what part and the last two lines are uh, formed because of the uh, because I zoomed out so I'll be deleting them. So next uh, we have to solve the model go to solve current LS let's say okay the solution is done now thing is you can even get the code for the code to run the solution so the status solve with solve so paste it then uh, go to post proc get the deformation nodal solution uh, deformation in the x direction just uh, get the code for that also so that no need to click every once after post one just copy I'll just say it comment as a result.
now you can just uh, change the load and uh, copy the whole code paste it in the command with few few warnings to verify verifications to clear the material property data so okay the solution has been done for the load but just to skip those verification uh, warnings just uh, put finish so that all the data will be cleared from the material properties so now if you run this copy this code and uh, paste it in the command the code has successfully ran and uh, you can even see the solution has already been displayed so you can change the load to 60 and uh, run it's, it's very very easy and uh, saves a lot of time that's it for the for this video and uh, thanks for watching